Hello folks, this is Kane, and since I've got people asking, I thought I'd do a video on how to manually install Darkness Falls. So, minimize OBS for a minute. Let's open Steam. I'm going to do this as if you've never installed anything. So what I do is I go to Library, and 7 Days to Die, right click, Properties, Local Files, Browse, and that puts you in this folder here. So mine's D, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, 7 Days to Die. Click Common, right click 7 Days to Die, and select Copy. And then for the sake of argument, I'm just going to put it straight into this drive here, D. I'll just do Paste to make a copy of it. And we just wait for it to be done. Your PC may be slower at this. It depends on the drive that you've got. So just bear that in mind. Um, I've got an NVMe, NVMe drive, so it's uh, particularly fast. Okay, we now have a copy of 7 Days to Die. Okay, so I can close that and that. Now, I already have Darkness Falls on this computer, so I'm going to go here. But you will download this, DFV3 Client Zip. If you, then, if you watch this video later on, when I've released a later version of Darkness Falls, it'll be a different file name, but... You want the zip file. You double click that and you'll have those three folders. Okay. Now you go back to your uh, folder where you copy seven days to die. You double click it and you've got this. And then you just grab, you move that up. You grab those three, drag into there. That's it. That's all you have to do. You just wait for 7zip or WinRAR or your unzipper of choice to do its thing. Takes a while because of the world files. Can also take a while depending on your CPU speed, so bear that in mind. And see, then this comes up and it starts copying everything across. And then it should say, Destination has 82 files with the same names. Replace. And then you run this. Not this. EAC bad. You don't want EAC. Run that. Now, the mic may pick up my speakers because laptop, so if it does, sorry. And there, done. It's that easy. So there you go, folks. Hopefully that will help someone. I recommend manually installing this or any other mod as much as you can because it just is much easier for us to debug uh, it's one less thing in the way like so I know people like using the launcher I'm saying nothing bad about the launcher but just doing this means we're not relying on the launcher potentially copying something wrong and it's easier to debug hopefully that helps see you all later